I believe there's a wide array of career opportunities for young professionals in GIS. Anybody wants to see a map, you can go into pretty much any field, public sector, private sector, and have somebody that wants to see a map. So the GIS opportunities are endless. Gosh, that ranges. Yeah. At Esri alone, we have a huge scope of, of career opportunities. Um, everything from accounting and finance to, uh, to, to, of course, technical and software development on to, to sales and marketing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's... Yeah, and, and I think Adam says it best. I don't know that there's any industry out there that doesn't use GIS, and so the opportunities are really boundless. I mean, we, we're seeing GIS in business. We're seeing GIS in every aspect of, of what we do on a daily basis, literally every industry. And if you look at Esri as a company, um, we cover multiple industries because GIS is, is basically in every industry. So I think anyone that has a technical spatial background and can start to think spatially has an opportunity and a career in GIS. I think that GIS could be a great career option for a lot of students because it can be applied to a multitude of career paths, a, a variety of industries, a variety of applications. The career opportunities for GIS, uh, and those, those just now thinking about starting a career in GIS are, are, are a lot. And there, there's everything from development to um, design and, and cartography type stuff to big data and analysis and um, web programming and all, all of that stuff. It's, it's, really, it's really crazy how much stuff there is right now that's G GIS related. So I found that the career opportunities are really kind of endless. Um, GIS is really an interdisciplinary science. It gives you a lot of different options and outlets to take the technology and the solutions and the applications that GIS provides and use them in different fields and disciplines. So there's a lot of opportunity out there. Okay, the career opportunities are vast. Um, you know, it's a, between local government, I mean, GIS and local government go together hand in hand. It'd be local government, uh, national government, but government in general. Like most of the, the conference is spent speaking to government agencies, even though they don't say it, the examples and samples they use. Uh, the technologies is really to uh, be incorporated with that like, sort of government feel. Um, that's, that's a big branch of it. And there, there, there are pluses to government. Um, stability can be one of them. Um, and, and the variety of work is there, especially if you're interested in a very small part of the world. Um, outside of that, with the engineering or oil and gas industries, again, the, the, the variety is amazing. All those uh, the, those aspects. Um, so the work is never boring because there's such a variety of ways you can apply the, the GIS technology. And um, even regardless of what field you pick, that there's a way to apply the tools and ways to be useful. And that's actually what I get the most sort of rewarding feeling is, is knowing that I'm helping out. And, and so that's it's. No matter where you land, that you can apply it that way. Right. Anything in the world, um, whether it is a programming or a managerial job, um, GIS is is great in helping anybody make a decision, a, a perfectly analytical decision. There are massive career opportunities for those that are graduating with GIS from college, um, because of reasons previously stated, which is that. GIS is ubiquitous in so many different industries and markets. Um, it's a highly marketable skill. I mean, it's kind of hokey, but I think it's kind of limitless. It's you, you. We're lucky to be enough at the Esri conference, and you look around, and it's you have participants here from across the globe. Everybody from uh, oil and gas to municipalities. You have you know, all sorts of companies that are using the technology. We had you know, was it FedEx here the other day or UPS that was talking about worldwide routing and the hundreds of millions of dollars they were saving using the technology. I think that for any student who's looking at getting into the field, uh, you're, you're building a skill set that you can then apply to a whole host of fields uh, anywhere around the world. Yes, I, I agree. I, I came out uh, with a forestry degree initially in 83 and the market took a big dip and I was real narrowly focused in the forestry. By going into GIS in the early 80s, it, it opened a wide range of fields to the federal government and corporate America has all embraced uh, uh, geography and science and location and so most of these organizations actually have uh, geographic information officers and geospatial intelligence groups within their companies uh, so it's an actual discipline uh, recognized by you know globally by uh, governments and corporate America.
I mean, he, well, it's not that you have to go work for the city. You can go work for private industry. You can go work for anybody with that knowledge of how geography and geographic systems work and are intercombined in any kind of industry at all.